today. Breakfast sandwich. Breakfast sandwich. Hola, como estas? Bonita way. Breakfast sandwich squad. I've made this for a few of you. It's one of my go-tos, especially with I need to use my bread that I buy. Which I don't really, I'm not really overly excessive when it comes to eating bread. But uh, gotta have it every once in a while, you know. Fix that craving, especially with the all the lunches I had as a kid, right, mamas? Um, okay, so first things first, let's talk about all the ingredients. We got some whole grain bread right here. What's up, Shima? I like all your content. You're doing a great job. Got your whole 100% whole grain, 100% whole wheat bread right here, team. Got our organic spinach, which has only cost $2 for this whole bag. Got a bag, bag of avocados, okay? But I needed to get a super ripe one, so luckily Trader Joe's had a super ripe one ready to go. Got some hummus, doesn't matter what kind of hummus you have, um, but I like the roasted garlic one at Trader Joe's. Got our free range eggs, you know, it's all about that free range so our chickens can, you know, roam freely. We don't want that cram, those cram chickens. That's not how they're supposed to live, okay? So make sure you get the eggs where they aren't living like that. And last but not least, we got some organic mozzarella cheese to add into our eggs, but you don't have to do that, okay? You don't have to. You can actually get some spices if you want, but I got some shredded one for the time being for this one. All right, squad, so you're only gonna need about two eggs. I always overdo it and have about <laughs> like three or four per sandwich, and there's always, there always tends to be some overlap and a, or like some eggs on the side of the plate. So we're just gonna stick with two today for the servings, okay? Two eggs per serving, all right? And uh, for two eggs, that's about 140 calories, okay? So when, if you have like a medium-sized egg, always, so whenever you're thinking about like calorie counting or whatnot, you're having some breakfast, you're having some eggs, but a nice rough estimate when it comes to the eggs is about 70, Calories per egg. All right, squad. So we got our eggs, hashed and broken up and ready to go here. I'm gonna get this skillet to a nice medium heat. All right. So remember, team. Okay, we got Alex, we got Mamas, we got Annette, we got Alexa, we got Hobbin here so far. So we think of it, team. Let's start thinking of some good names. We got some. We got a breakfast sandwich, right? That we're cooking up here. What can be the name with all the ingredients that I just stated? And also too, it doesn't matter like how you want to prepare your eggs. You can do a post, you can do sunny side up. But for me, since we're going to incorporate some spinach in here, I want to, and some shredded um, mozzarella cheese, I'm going to go with scrambled with, uh, and with all the other breakfast meals we've done in, on this. Uh, I always do my scramble since it's a little bit easier and you can control it a little bit better. How's y'all your Wednesdays going? Wednesdays going so far? Right. Hopefully I didn't get any shell in there. Bob, you already have a name? A hello. <laughs> Top of the mountain to you. <laughs> That's a good one. I like it. <laughs> You're so fixated on going to Mount Baldy this weekend, huh? 100 yards. There you go, Alexa. There it is, 100 yards. <laughs> Just turned her off before she responded. All right, team. So I got my egg. Blend it in there. I'm going to throw in a little bit of spinach. Get that cooked up with the eggs right now. With two eggs, you don't need too much spinach. Um, but if you're serving a good amount of people, which, if you got all these ingredients, you can serve about six servings, right? So the total cost for all of it is around $20. And with that 20 bucks, you're gonna get six servings. So that's about $3.50 per serving, which is kind of crazy, right? So if you go to like a breakfast shop, which I did um, with someone recently, uh, their breakfast sandwich was bomb, it was so good. 100% vegan, but, um, the breakfast sandwich like 
similar ingredients besides the egg. They had like tempeh egg, um, so soy. Uh, the <laughs> breakfast sandwich cost like fifteen dollars. So like we're about to make we can make six with all this all this ingredients that we have today, and uh, we're pretty much getting you know that same price with six sandwiches versus one. But it's all about you know having someone else cook it for you, right? Eh. Wrong. Cook it for yourself, team. All right, so when you're, you know, uh, one of the sayings goes when it comes to bread, you want to have bread that's super, super hard to go down. The harder, the harder it is, the, the harder it is to swallow, the, heat, the more healthier, the, the healthier it is for you. So we got some 100% whole grain bread from Trader Joe's, which is a little bit tastier than like that Ezekiel bread. We got eggs and afraid, <laughs> eggs and afraid play. Yeah, well, we don't have Ed in here right now, so we need we need Ed for that. All right, squad. So I got our got the bread ready to go. While the eggs are cooking, I think I need to stir it up a little bit and get some seasoning up in here soon. He's obsessed with that show. <laughs> we all have our own shows that we gravitate towards, team. And there's no shame in that. Egg low. Ooh, and that, nice. I like that. Egg low. So this is kind of like, if you guys were pretty much all here for the turkey burger. So this is kind of like the turkey burger. Just a little bit different, obviously a little bit more breakfasty, and blending in with the veggies and stuff. So let's get some seasoning up here. I'm using my quintessential seasonings. I got the garlic salt, I got the garlic powder right here. Can't go wrong with garlic besides for you mamas, I'm sorry. I know your gut does not like it. But the great thing is that there's a crap ton of health, healthy seasoning alternatives you can use. Get some thyme up in here, got some oregano that I just threw in. Some black pepper and then some basil. As you guys have noticed, I don't really use too much salt besides the garlic salt because salt is pretty much almost anything you buy besides fresh fruits and veggies. Some salt already. In that garlic salt, boom. Eggs are ready to go already. See? This meal's pretty quick, team, so if you want to cook it on your own, it takes only about five to ten minutes without talking so much to the, you know, to the chat. Uh, yeah. Eggs are ready. Now let's get everything else ready to go. So I got the avocado. Usually for this, you're about to you're, you can use half of an avocado to place on the sandwich itself. But if you're feeling saucy, you know, since most of you are super saucy, you can have that extra half, you know, on the side, just for aesthetics as well as pleasure as it eats. But uh, remember, avocados are super healthy for you. See, eggs are ready to go. That was done in less than five minutes. Avocados are super healthy for you, but remember, one whole avocado. So this whole avocado right here can be about 320 calories. If you're trying to manage your caloric intake, we can kind of go a little bit overboard if we have too much avocado or guacamole or whatnot. They're good calories, but again, good calories are intended can be um, digested. If we have too much good calories, it can be stored away. Our body's super efficient at storing away those excess calories that we take in, whether they be good calories or bad calories. All right, squad. So. I forgot to put the cheese in there. So you can put this, um, you know, for me at least, I don't really put the cheese in at the beginning. I kind of do it at the end. So it kind of just has like a nice little melted. It's, a, it's nice and melted just a little bit, but so I'm going to cook that just for another like half a minute or a minute or so. LJ loves avocado. That's good. Do better. He's going to get that from his uncle a lot. Toast the bread. You can toast the bread if you want. Um, 
Now, for me at least, I don't really care too much about that, but uh, if you uh, if you want to toast the bread, please do. All right, oh yeah, that cheese is getting all up in there, team. There you go, that's an easy way to get a little bit of sodium is from the cheeses. So we got, again, that organic, free-range cow uh, mozzarella cheese there. All right, squad, so boom. And this meal with all this, all these ingredients—the half of an avocado, the two eggs, the spinach, the bread, the two pieces of bread. Um, what else do we have? Uh, oh, ooh, we got—we still got one more ingredient that I brought up in the beginning. I got to add right here. Not the hot sauce. I know. I know. People, are, some of you may be thinking about hot sauce right now. Okay. So, forgot, got some hummus up in this business as well. Okay, so we're gonna get some hummus up in here right now. I'm gonna use about a tablespoon. A tablespoon of hummus. Okay, again, remember I got my roasted garlic hummus right here. Just add a tablespoon of this puppy. Alrighty. And place that on the op opposite piece of bread that we placed, we just placed our uh, eggs on right now. Mm. Can't go wrong with some good hummus. And just smear that here. Smear. That's one of those words that kind of doesn't sound nice to say, like moist and stuff. <laughs> eggs in your <clears throat> eggs in your face. I like it. I like, I like Manette's egg low though. I like Manette's egg low. Let's try to do a play on words with egg low and eggs in your face. <laughs> so as you, as, you, as you can see team, while we're talking about the, the name, one tablespoon of hummus can go a long way. And one tablespoon is around 30 calories. Of, of, one tablespoon of hummus is about 30 calories. So, boom, I should smear it right there. I put you a little on it. We can, we can do it, but I'll do it at the end. I'll do it at the end. I'll get it ready to go. Just for you, just for you. All right, I got the uh, second tier hot sauce. It's first tier is Frank's Red Hot, but Cholula is a good, a close second, a close second. All right, squad, so we got half of an avocado, nice and sliced right there. Moisty, moisty, e, moisty eggs. Is that supposed to be eggs or EGFS? <laughs> you can make your own hummus, mom, but do we have, like, do people have that time? No, it's about affordable, healthy, and time efficient meals, mama. Everybody doesn't have the time that chefs on national television do. You can make your own hummus, yeah, if you're, if you're super fancy, but right now we're just going to get, it's $2 to get it. A nice carton at uh, at Trader Joe's. That's D8. So what's on a recall right now, Cholula? All right, team. So we got boom. We got our bread. We got our eggs. We got our cheese. Boom. This is ready to go here. Again, our own breakfast sandwich. This can be fifteen dollars, team. This thing could be $15 at a swanky little restaurant, but we just made it for $3.50. Where's uh, where's the hummus being recalled from? Trader Joe's? Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, so team, we got egg low, eggs in your face, more mornings, morning sandwich, yolky yolks. I like Anglo, Anglo Sangy, Anglo Sandwich. All right, team, gotta, gotta have a bite of this thing. Look at this. Mm. Oh yeah, you don't need Cholula for this. Well, good thing. Good thing, I think, Trader Joe's is pretty good on top of, on being on top of um, recalls. I think I bought some, um, 
some edamame there like recently, and they were like super quick with the recall. So Trader Joe's trustworthy. All right, team, Iglo sandwich, Iglo in your face sandwich. Again, three dollars and fifty cents. Easy peasy. Six hundred calories for this sandwich, which is pretty good. Pretty good for a breakfast sandwich, right? Not too high, not too low. Nice in the middle. Oh yeah. I just got some avocado up in that bite right there. All right, team. So again, meal's about, you can get about six servings for this meal with all the ingredients we talked about. Four avocados, a carton of hummus, the bag of organic mozzarella screen cheese, or uh, mozzarella cheese. Got the loaf of bread, got the pack of spinach, and um, you got your carton of eggs. All right, six servings. By the bing, butter, boom. Twenty dollars goes a long way. That's why, like I said, like how I like to finish things. Want to talk about the nutrients a little bit. So again, this meal is super high in protein, super high in those unsaturated fats, and very, very high in fiber. The vitamins that are pretty high in this meal are vitamin A, C, E, K, riboflavin, pantothenic acid, vitamin B6, folate, biotin, and B12. That's 10 vitamins right there. And when, when, remember, when I say high, that means over 20% of your daily value is coming from just this one sandwich, All right? The minerals that are high in this are manganese, magnesium, calcium, copper, selenium, phosphorus, molybdenum, iron, and zinc, boom. And last but not least, the other um, nutrient that's found in here is choline. Remember, choline high in pro um, found in proteins like eggs and beef and chicken and turkey. And choline is really good for a brain. All right, squad. So we got the egg low sandwich. I think uh, I think we'll go with Minette. Minette right there with the egg low sandwich. All right, guys, squad. I'm gonna enjoy the heck out of this thing before boxing. Thanks for tuning in for another affordable and healthy meal. Number twelve.